Yeah, so I'm just gonna go down and explain what's going on now. And we're just gonna start from here since everything is basically lost from the beginning. I got this is nine feet across, six feet wide. The height of the kennel is four feet, the back is three and a half. I have a incline, so there will be a runoff when it rains. These are um, bracing, there were just scraps. I just started measuring them out at a 45 right there, cut them off. Just put them all on, and uh, man, this is pay the ass to have to explain everything again. But let me see. This is a cheap build. I'm not. I don't want to use too much wood. Like I said, so far everything's been free except these panels. And I went out and bought these board. I mean these pallets. Really, the main. Uh, what I was really gonna do is rip these boards off, and then place them atop like this. There's a 2x4 in, rip these boards off and lay them out, but the boards are actually too thin and too weak. Every time I pull them out of these, out of these nails, they're just breaking apart, so I just decided to use the whole pallet. So what I did was cut 3x3 three three square, then right here by uh, these two, uh, <sighs> wood right here, I just cut a straight so that there's an overhang on this well yeah on like this guy right here overhang there's an overhang on this end so that when I place it on top it just sit on top like this it just hang over uh, this uh, two by four just like this and then what you do is come in and screw them in into this um, the main wood right here but that's it uh, I wish I had the whole video, the time lapse or everything, how I built it up and how I cleaned up this entire mess right here because this was all thorn bush and everything. But I completely lost everything, so not gonna, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go off what I got in here. I'm gonna go through and smooth all this out. The other two kennels I already got it smoothed out. So I'm gonna take the great angle grinder and just go through with this. And then after I get through smoothing this out, I'll show you guys how to treat these wood a cheap way. And then, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna get to grinding it. So this is the dog kennel. I just finished it. Where we left off last time was where I was working on the floors. But yeah, I just decided to not record anymore because it was just taking too much time. Just too much back and forth. And and so I decided to just finish it out and I'll just tell you guys what I did. So right here, starting off with the side. Um, like I said, I didn't use, try to use too much wood. So, like this spot, I could have ran 2x4 here, and right there, I could have ran 2x4 there, but I didn't, I just used enough to, I just grabbed a piece of scrap that I had, held it up there, and just nailed these in, 
on the bottom and the top. It's held up pretty strong. And then, like I said, 2x4 could have gone here, could have gone here. 2x4 could have gone into between these right here and right there just to divide it. But I decided not to, and I just use the wire here to tie them up. I haven't shown you guys my pig pin, but my pig pin, since I couldn't weld and I don't know how to weld, I just end up um, tying all the panels together. But I'll show you guys my pig pin on another day but as of right now I I got all these tied there I tied right there same thing with over here and then that holds in per lace pretty well you can pull it as much as you want pull this as much as you want it won't come undone and then onto the barrels I this is supporting the rear end and then down here, I just got a small piece of two by four. I screwed it into the boards. And then uh, from the barrel to that two by four, I had screwed two screws in two to keep it from turning, pushing in and out, just to keep it held up there. Then when the dog goes in and their weight are hanging out the back, it's supported by uh, this chain right here. And uh, it'll move a little bit here and there, but it's not gonna spin on the dogs. And then let's see what else. Up here by the front, the doors were smooth, but I had to scoot the kennel upwards towards me in order to uh, fit the barrels in the back. Otherwise it'd be hitting the fence in the back over there. So uh, I scooted the um, kennel up and now the doors aren't shutting smooth like how they were before which is a pain in the ass but now I have to like lift it and shut it which is fine too I mean just gotta use a little bit more effort to shut the door but it's whatever to try to fix that too but all these they They all lock. They all got locks on them. Oh yeah, for these doors right here, when they were shutting smooth, they were just uh, passing through onto the inside. So the panel, I left a little piece right here to extend out. So when it does shut, uh, the panel catches the door from swinging onto the inside. And then, let's see. What else, oh yeah. Let me, uh, let me show you guys the shingles. These are the shingles. It looks kind of funky. It's a little longer than what I wanted it to be. I thought that these shingles were uh, 8 feet long. But they were actually 10 feet. And I really did not want to cut these shingles to 8 foot. So I just threw them on top. The width of the kennel is six feet, so I just left a left two feet overhang on each end. And uh, yeah, these were just used shingles. I just reused them onto here. Hopefully, if it was to snow, or whatever, it will hold up. I think it should hold up pretty well. But hopefully, it doesn't bend. And uh, yeah, let's see what else. Oh yeah, I think this was pretty cool. I went, I found this out a while back. These boards right here. Uh, like I said, I wanted to build this cheap, so a cheap way to treat these, the wood is um, to just burn them. If you have those garden torch, just bring in here and just burn them. And uh, it's just a cheap way to uh, treat your wood keep them from rotting bugs getting into them uh, makes them uh, waterproof yeah just another cheap way to treat your wood so I just came through with the torch and I just burned all of this right here and uh, I did that because these are these boards here are constantly gonna be wet because I'm gonna be spraying them down to get rid of the dog feces so I just went through two times 
on each kennel and then uh, just left it. Some people like to burn them until you start seeing gator scales. Like it starts looking like a gator scale, kind of like that. But I burnt like those two back there, I burned them a little bit more trying to get to the gator scales, but they will start bowing your boards. So I just decided not to burn them that much because I don't want my boards bowing up. And uh, yeah, so cheap way to treat your woods and then this thing is just a cheap build right here the panels are pretty pricey let's see the cost of this i think i mean most most of them were free for me i think i spent only about 300 bucks because i had to get all these locks the panels screws and stuff like that but and the wood and the shingles were free for me but if I was to estimate this build, I honestly think it's like a $500, $600 build. Um, it's not too bad. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time.